Zach here with another quick tip from Imaging Spectrum. We will be focusing on color handling and rendering intent through Photoshop today. Although letting the printer handle color will generally deliver a great print, when using Photoshop it can be more accurate to let Photoshop manage colors, especially with third-party media. With Photoshop managing colors, we have access to a multitude of other profiles which most companies will have available to download from their websites. For our P9570 today, we will focus on Poster Production 175, which is what we currently have loaded. With the printer profile in the appropriate settings, we will turn our attention to normal printing and rendering intent. Rendering intent is just that, how Photoshop will process your colors to achieve a desired print. More often than not, we will be in perceptual mode, which is great for photographs and most prints, as it will take out of gamut colors and shift them to the closest in gamut color the printer can reproduce. This will also keep the relationship between the colors equal as it will shift in gamut colors and maintain the relationship throughout the image, allowing for a more accurate print to what you see on screen, and is the best rendering intent for transitional tones and gradients. Saturation preserves the saturation over hue and lightness, which can affect certain colors. Not recommended for photos as it will not maintain realism. This is generally reserved for charts and graphs. Relative color metric is similar to perceptual and will alter the colors as little as possible while changing out of gamut colors to the in gamut color space. It will preserve the in gamut colors even if it clips out of gamut colors and will alter its white point to match the output. Absolute color metric is similar to relative color metric as it preserves in gamut colors and clips out of gamut colors but without altering the white point. This is another that will not often be used as it can lead to color shift, which is not great for maintaining realism as it will not compensate for the white point of the output. Also, with black point compensation checked, Photoshop will map the black point of an input profile to that of the output profile, which ultimately will preserve detail in the shadows. Last is matched print colors to get a soft proof of what to expect from your print. These settings should get you where you need to be for extremely accurate and gorgeous prints. Of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call or visit the Imaging Spectrum website for more details. Talk to you soon.